Hello. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. For today's video, we're gonna be doing a little sit down Q&A for you guys, talking about our relationship, relationship advice, stuff like that. I'm sure you guys can tell based on the title. Um, if you guys are new here, my name's Yasmin, this is Logan. I'm 19, Logan is 18, almost 19, and we have two babies. One of them is sleeping, and one of them is here, playing. Hi. <laughs> So we're getting ready to cook a little meal, so we're gonna do kind of a mukbang with you guys, and then we'll totally be like sitting down and just talking with you guys. But I posted a little section on my Instagram story for you guys to submit questions or ask for advice or whatever, just totally based on like relationship stuff, questions about our relationship or just like advice on relationship related things. I'm just hungry, of course. If you guys aren't already following me on Instagram, go ahead and check my Instagram in the description below. Logan's Instagram is also down there if you guys want to check that out. Because our comments are turned off, I always have a section for comments on my Instagram story. If you guys have like other questions or anything that we don't answer in this video, you guys can leave them there. So just to give you guys a little bit of background on our relationship, before we get into this, Logan and I have been together for almost two years now. And Logan and I got together when Layla, my oldest daughter, was four months old four months old yeah we met in high school and we just recently moved away from our families and stuff so anyways we just wanted to hop on here and make this little video so, okay. also before we get into it this video is sponsored by hellofresh you guys have seen me work with hellofresh a lot if you guys are not new to my channel but if you are we love hellofresh meals we have them all the time and we're going to show you guys a little bit about them and then we'll eat our meal while we answer all of your questions so HelloFresh is America's number one meal kit. They have more five-star recipes than any other meal kit. And they basically send out a package that is sealed with ice packs and it sends out all of the pre-portioned ingredients, fresh vegetables, literally everything in tiny little containers, everything that you need for all the recipes, including meat packaged up like this. So HelloFresh sends out recipe cards like this. They're super easy to make even for us. They have something for everyone, including low calorie, vegetarian, and family recipes. You can save up to 28% by using HelloFresh instead of just grocery shopping for meals. Plus it just makes it so much easier than like stressful meal prepping and planning. Also having the pre-portioned ingredients means that there's gonna be a lot less food waste and less food prep for you. And they're also super sustainable in the way that their carbon footprint is 25% lower than than the carbon footprint from like store-bought, like grocery store shopped meals. If that makes sense. They're also super flexible to fit with busy lifestyles, so you can change delivery dates, skip weeks, add meals, add extra sides, whatever you need. HelloFresh is also super committed to giving back. They've donated over 2.5 million meals in 2019, and they're stepping up their donations this year due to the coronavirus crisis. You can use my code SWITZER80 to get a total of $80 off, including free shipping, on your first box with purchase, so you can go to HelloFresh.com to redeem and for more details. We've loved every HelloFresh meal we've got, so it's kind of like really nice to know that every month when we're grocery shopping, we don't really have to worry about getting a whole bunch of meals to make because we already know that we're gonna have HelloFresh meals at home to make for dinners and like lunches. And look how good, and these are big portions. And this is Layla's. All right guys, delicious as always. Oh no, it's growling. She loves to crawl under the couch. Come over here, come eat. <laughs> Two questions now. Anna is probably gonna be kind of in and out joining us. Maybe she'll eat while we're doing this. She really wants my food. <laughs> okay, so the first question is, what is one thing that you dislike about each other and how do you cope with it? So what's your answer? So Logan has like pretty severe ADHD. Um, and sometimes, <laughs> I love you, I love you. Sometimes it's just like, Anna! And sometimes it's just like hard for him to focus on stuff and that's like difficult for me. But obviously it's not his fault. I can't like be mad at him for it, but I've just had to learn how to like have more patience and stuff and be understanding of it, um, which I haven't always been. Like before we really like knew that he was like actually like diagnosed with ADHD, I would get really frustrated at him for like not being able to focus on things and stuff. And um, it honestly was pretty hard on our relationship. Yeah. But now that I know it's honestly a lot better and like every time like I have to remind myself like, okay, he's not trying to like, be, <laughs> make things harder for me. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I know exactly what you mean. I think one trait of Yasmin's that I, it's difficult for me to cope with, but I can cope with it is um that she always has to 
like have like five excuses <laughs> when something's going wrong uh rather than like pick the obvious reason as to why what's wrong and really like admit to things also that's a bad like, i'm really bad at that I'm yeah really bad at, like it's like she doesn't like to disappoint people so she thinks that i, f I feel guilty like so i have to you know she has to make sure that in her mind she's not wrong about it or she didn't try to hurt anyone the fact that we like tell each other about these things is actually really good for the relationship too that's like a big part like like knowing each other's flaws and helping with them not like trying to fix them but like helping and helping you in the middle yeah like like not like putting you down at all you got to be positive about it like mm -hmm. the fact that i have adhd and i can't ever concentrate on certain things and i can never start certain things she just helps me out in a way like hey like i'll give you like this amount of time but like hey at this point we're gonna go do this or blah 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 mm -hmm. but yeah so I feel like that was a good question. That was a very good question. Everyone always, I feel like, talks about, like, finding your one, like, your person. Like, obviously, like, Logan is my person. But, like, you're never going to completely, 100% absolutely love everything about them and everything in day-to-day -day life. And, like, <laughs> How am I going to film this video with you being so cute? Okay, I'm just shutting up on a tighter right there where we can see her while we do this. So she can eat food. Date night ideas that aren't expensive. We have actually had... Even for our, um, anniversary. for our anniversary, we actually didn't spend a single cent on our one year. Of course, she was really pregnant, so we couldn't really do much, but we, uh... Oh God, I forgot I was super pregnant. Yeah, you were really pregnant. <laughs> we filled the back of our car with a bunch of pillows and blankets and went, went to, uh, the ocean, like yeah, right by the little, beach. Yeah. And, um... We went and watched a movie, we just cuddled. Um, we made some food from the house, so really we didn't spend a lot of money. And his mom it. kept the kids. Yeah, my mom kept Our the kid. kids. My mom was in my belly. Oh yeah. <laughs> <gasps> that's a good idea. I mean, that's like, we I try like to- that's a classic, like a lot of- Yeah, we try not to spend a lot of money going on dates anyway. We'd mm -hmm. rather spend it on like- Vacations. Yeah, vacation stuff. Or, exactly, yeah. Like big expenses. We don't like making small expenses. Picnics. Of yeah, course, anywhere. Yeah, a lot of beach picnics. Um, if you don't live by the beach, you can just go to like a park or something. That's what we'd even do here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's kind of nice because then it is kind of like a date for us because like Layla and Anna will both play. Yeah. Anna obviously just kind of cross around the grass, but um, they'll both play so then that way we actually can like sit and talk to each other, um, spend time together. How do you balance wanting a young life but still being parents slash sharing responsibility? I don't actually have a good answer to this because we actually aren't that good at balancing having like a young life and also being parents. We're parents like 24-7. Um, we never have breaks. So, I mean, other than like them napping. Mm -hmm. So it is really hard for us and we haven't really been able to do that. But we've been really good about it lately where I'll take the kids for two hours and she can go out with Gabby yeah, or whoever. Yeah, that's better than me having my like young yeah. lifetime. Like I go out with one of my friends and like we'll go surf or we'll go... We, like hiking, hiking. All that. we went yeah. and, like hiked to this waterfall, we went snorkeling, like do fun stuff together without the kids, I guess. Yeah, so that's kind of like, that's like how we balance it at this point, but we yeah. actually are not very good at balancing it. So yeah. we are trying to get better. We want a babysitter so that we can actually do stuff again. We've gone out one time alone, built the bus. Since, since we've, we've gotten here. here for two hours. Which is not good. We'll get more into that, but it's so important that you do that. And we haven't, and it's been hard enough. No, I feel like this is the perfect time to talk about it. Yeah, so, like I said, we've only been out together, just us, one time. Obviously, we get alone time, like we said, like, when the kids are napping, when they go to bed. Anna goes to bed, like, between 7 and 7.30, and then Layla goes to bed at 8. Some nights to, like, stay up later, but usually we go to bed pretty early, but then that gives us, like, a couple hours. But usually, obviously, there's not much we can do within those couple hours, like, we'll hang out. Sometimes we'll play games. Usually, we just sit and watch movies and hang out together, which is, like, obviously, we cherish that time so much, but... We don't get to like go out and do stuff together. Yeah. The other day, Gabby, our friend, stayed with the girls for us for like a couple hours. We could go out and we went and like got food. We went surfing. We like went and did stuff together, and it was like really, really awesome to like to do stuff together without worrying about the kids. I feel like that is really important for relationships. Yeah, because that you're you not just forget that you're just, yeah exactly about why. what your relationship is aside from just taking care of the kids and doing yeah. all your day to day things. It's like really important to to really hang on to that like that spark that love. There's been times where 
we like will get stuck in this loop and just feel like this whole, almost like our whole relationship is like, just like a business almost. Just take care of the kids, do YouTube, and that's it. We'll like start to argue a little bit, start to get mad at each other for little things. Then we realize like that, that we still have a relationship. It's still us. And then we also have kids. And aside from that, it is also important for us to have time to ourselves without the kids, without each other too. That was definitely really hard for me to accept while I was pregnant. I really hated spending time away from Logan when I was pregnant with Anna. I'd be home for two weeks. No, two days. <laughs> I have an exact example and it was a week. Wait, we end up going to Riley's, I'm pretty sure. That was horrible. That was horrible. I was so angry. No, we're not gonna talk about that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was so horrible. I was horrible. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Communication, how do you guys deal with fights? I would say we do get into like small fights, arguments like normally, like not like every day, but every <clears throat> week. Once a week we have a good argument. Yeah. I, I feel like every day we have disagreements, but if you don't disagree with something within a day, that means you're just really going along with everything. Which yeah. It's like a normal, like, we're with each other yeah. every day, so yeah. It's like she's, like earlier she was like, don't cut the pineapple, and I was like, I'm cutting the pineapple. <laughs> that lasted three seconds and we were fine. <laughs> and he didn't cut the pineapple. <laughs> but not because I told him not to, because he didn't know how to. <laughs> no, I didn't know how to, I saw, you really, no, there was a bunch of ants. Yeah, there was ants on it, it was weird. Okay. Well, anyways, we would definitely do get into, like, a good fight. Quarrels. Quarrels every, I would say every once in a while. And there's a couple like ongoing things that we're still kind of battling with, figuring out. The way we get through it is just like, sometimes we like are super focused on like acting on our emotions and we kind of like both like blow up emotionally. We'll like still like lash out at each other, like we'll be angry with each other, but then we'll kind of like both take a second and realize that like, let's just think about it and then like talk later. Like yeah. we like let's just let's just put a pause on it, talk tonight after we've thought about everything. Yeah. And usually that is the number one way that we like get through things because I feel like like she was saying, we kinda just act on emotion mm -hmm. and so we'll just be angry and then lash out and then boom, nothing's resolved. Yeah, so we so have now, to wait out the yeah, emotional part of we it. We just wait out the emotional part and talk. then we can have a normal conversation. A good way that we don't get too emotional during the conversation is we try to respect each other's opinions. Um, mm -hmm. me more so than her. Okay. I, that's your opinion, I respect it. <laughs> as important as it is to wait out the emotional part of it, it's even more important to always make sure you like talk about everything that you were yes. feeling. Because if you don't, then you're gonna bottle stuff up and that's happened so much in our relationship and in so many relationships that you bottle stuff up and then you're angry at each other and other times in the future for things that happened in the past that couldn't resolve in the past. In most of our situations, the other person didn't even know why they were upset. Yeah, or like no. And because they bottled it up. So like when they unleashed everything, they were just like, well, like one of us was like, um, like why haven't you said this before? Like why is this just now coming up? Mm -hmm. And then we bring other things into it. Yeah. And we basically like we're, we're counting score almost. Yeah, which is and that's not good. Very bad to do in a relationship. I try that should to live. Ever... I try to live by the Bible verse. I always forget what the name of it is in the number. Don't say it. Love is patient. Love is kind. It keeps no records of wrongs. I really like that one, and I think it should be applied to relationships. The reason that it caught me is to keep no record of wrongs because we used to have so much, pro so many problems with that when we were fighting. Is like. Like, if I would say, like, oh, I'm mad about this, and he would say, like, oh, well, you do this, yeah. it's similar to that, and then, like, we just go back and forth, and it's, like, keeping track of all these things. You have to, like, almost, like, have a clean slate every day, but, like, when something goes wrong, resolve it then so that you're not in the future bringing it up again and being, yes. like, Yes. <clears throat> My boyfriend of one year and I broke up and now are friends with benefits. How do I move on without letting him go? You Ooh. don't. You don't. We were actually talking about this the other day. For, um, whenever there's like a friends with benefits situation, we I feel like there's always one person that is like emotionally attached. attached. Like one person is always the one who, like, someone's gonna get their heart broken. Someone's gonna get their heart broken. Yes, that's that, that's the point. That's just our opinions, though. Yeah. Other people have made it work. Me and my boyfriend fight a lot because I'm scared of other girls wanting him. I don't think that that should be a reason to fight. If someone's like obviously going for other people while they're with you, then you kind of have to just let that go. Um, I would say the first thing um, you should do is realize 
be your self-worth. Other girls wanting him also has nothing to do with him wanting you, or is not the same as him wanting other girls. Yes. That happened, I mean, that's I, that's happened so many times. Like Everyone so wants me. So many boys. <laughs> We're just messing. <laughs> um, no one wants us. Girls are always all over you. Like, Logan. Logan. He got checked out by this mom walking down the beach. Oh, he yeah. He was, like, playing was... with all the kids and these moms. I was surfing, and literally this, like, mom, or a couple moms walked by, oh. and literally were, like, checking out Logan. I was watching it from the surfboard in the water. Literally peeing myself laughing. <laughs> it was so, <laughs> so funny. funny. I was like, wow, they just like looked him up and down with the kids. I was like, what am I witnessing right now? The moms, that's, they're attracted to me. <laughs> oh, but no, you should definitely uh, worry about your relationship. Um, if he's not chasing them, it's a little yeah. bit insecure. And it's hard, it's bad to let your insecurities affect, affect your relationship. Oh yeah, and couples counseling is also something that a lot of people recommend and we actually do, haven't actually done a session yet, but are like, signed up with a couples counselor that we like chat with but haven't done like a live video session yet which we do want to do soon even if your relationship isn't like drastically struggling which ours isn't like drastically isn't struggling obviously we're like we're actually finding... probably at the best point of our relationship yet yeah now is when we're getting couples counseling just because yeah it's just so good to talk things out especially with someone else how do i deal with a boyfriend who needs constant attention and reassurance mainly when i work i feel like you have to be able to set boundaries and explain to your boyfriend like that you love them and care about them, but you need space and time for yourself, and yeah. that, that should be normal. And if they can't accept that, then they're probably just not the right person for you. Oh, I just wanted a kiss. <laughs> you literally bit my face. Someone asked if Logan had a girlfriend before we were together, and Logan? Yes, I've been in a couple of relationships. Long before we were together. Someone asked if I feel like I have to do more to care for Layla because Logan's not her biological father. And no, I don't. Layla is Logan's. Layla's fine. <laughs> Daddy mine. <laughs> Logan does this thing where he has Layla say, Mommy, Daddy's mine. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Layla like fight over him. <laughs> Someone asked if I get jealous of Logan being friends with a lot of girls. The answer is no. I like knew from the beginning that it was weird. Obviously, there's been times, like random times, where like a girl will text him or like snap to him, and I'm like, who's this? But I don't say I get jealous. Why do you say that? Why do you say that? And as far as like Gabby and Allie go, like. Oh yeah, that's different. That's like they're like we're all friends. We're all family. Friends. That's yeah, they're same. family. And I'm just not insecure in that way. I think she understands that I would never in a million years do anything to jeopardize what we have. But I just don't think that you would desire to do that. No, yeah, I literally would not desire. I mean, you might want to flirt with girls. You flirt with girls all the time, actually. Well, yeah, that's how I make friends. <laughs> what, is this my coming out video? <laughs> this is her coming out video. She's bisexual, if you guys didn't know. <laughs> I'm giving you some there. I understand. I, I'm not arguing it. She's bisexual. This is it. So you know. <laughs> so, Anyways, all right, I that's all for now, kids. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> he looks exactly like me. You can't even argue. He looks like me. <laughs> Thank you, HelloFresh, for sponsoring it. Thank you guys for watching. We love you all, and we will see you on the next one. I'm so close to 850K while you're, if you're watching this right when it's posted. So get me there, and I'll post my WAP dance. <laughs> love you guys. Okay, actually, she kills it. <laughs>